Hello and welcome to our Plan Maker tutorial. Plan Maker is the spreadsheet application that comes bundled with HMPU Office 2018 and a worthy match for Microsoft Excel in terms of features. Today, I'll give you 10 tips on how to work more effectively and professionally with spreadsheets in Plan Maker, but you can also easily adapt these tips to Microsoft Excel. Tip number one. Create and use templates. You can easily turn any spreadsheet into a template by selecting Plan Maker Template as file type during saving. Make sure to use a proper file name like Invoice Template and keep the default path as the program won't automatically find your template otherwise. Afterwards, your template will be listed under File, New, More for quick and efficient use. Tip number two. Work faster with autosums. Need to sum a column or row of numbers? Let PlanMaker do it for you. First, select both the cells holding the data and the cells that will hold the results. Then, Click Autosum followed by Sum to fill in the results automatically. Tip number three. Visualize your data with charts. Charts make data more comprehensible and visually comparable. With PlanMaker, creating charts is easy. First, select the affected cells and make sure to include both row and column labels to auto-create a proper legend. Then, click Insert followed by Chart Frame and the type of chart you'd like to create. Finally, drag the chart to the desired position and use the edge markers to resize it. Tip number four. Provide clarity through filters. Filters are perfect to sift through large amounts of data in discrete chunks. In this example, I'll use auto filters to quickly compare months and years. First, I select one of the affected cells and click Start, followed by Sort and Filter, and then Auto Filter. This will reveal pull-down menus above each column with several quick sorting options. To narrow my data down to the year 2019, I click the Year column, uncheck all in the associated pull-down menu and then select 2019. To further narrow down the data to December, I open the pull-down menu for the month column and select December. Tip number five, auto-adjust column widths. In many cases, the default sized cells are too narrow to display all of their contained data. Adjusting column widths is easy with PlanMaker. If you only need to adjust the width for a single column, simply double-click the space between the affected and the next column. To adjust multiple column widths, select them and then double-click the space between any two columns. Tip number six. Transpose data when needed. Transposing means swapping data between rows and columns, with the rows becoming the columns and vice versa. First, select the table. Then, click Data Transpose to do the swapping. It only takes a single click for rows to become columns and columns to become rows. Tip number seven, 
Autocomplete. Autocomplete is perfect to quickly create a logical sequence of data, for example numbers from 1 to 10, across multiple rows and columns. This also works with days, with Tuesday being auto-inserted after Monday and so forth. For this feature to work, select the source cell and then drag the bottom right square, which will turn into a plus symbol, across the cells to be auto-completed. Release the mouse button to complete the process. You can also customize existing or create your own lists for use with Autocomplete. Simply click Home, Fill, Series, and then Edit Lists. Autocomplete will then use your lists whenever the selected source cell contains one of their items. Tip number 8. If conditions. If conditions allow you to fill cells with data based on predefined criteria, for example, whether there are still enough items in stock. In this example, I need to determine whether I'm out of stock and need to reorder certain goods. First, I insert a new column next to the quantity column. Then, I enter the following formula. Equals if open bracket smaller or equal to 130 semicolon quotation mark reorder exclamation point quotation mark semicolon quotation mark OK quotation mark close bracket. This means if there are less or equal to 130 items in stock, PlanMaker will fill the affected cell with Reorder and insert OK otherwise. You can use the aforementioned Autocomplete to apply this condition to the remaining cells. Tip number 9. Calculate across sheets. Especially huge data sets are often spread out across several sheets for easier management. Here's how to calculate the sum of cells across multiple sheets. First, select a cell and input the equal sign to tell PlanMaker that the value of the cell will be determined by a formula. Then. Select the next worksheet and click the cell the data of which should be added to the previous cell. Add a plus sign to tell PlanMaker that the cell will hold the sum of at least two cells. Repeat the previous two steps for as many worksheets and cells as you like. Press Enter when you're done. Finally, use Autocomplete to apply the formula to the remaining cells if needed. Tip number 10. Pivot Tables. Pivot tables summarize the data of other tables in the form of sums, averages or other statistics grouped together for analysis. They are called pivot tables 
because they allow you to arrange and rearrange or pivot statistical information. I need to analyze my table, so I first select the entire table and enable the pivot feature through Data Pivot Table. PlanMaker then uses my selection as source table. Once I click Insert, a new worksheet will be created with the pivot table. Next, I need to set up filters that will extract the data from the source table. I want to filter by years, so I drag year into the pivot table. Then, I select the month and pick a date format. This way, I can further narrow down my data to individual months. I can set up additional filters to extract other data as needed. Filters help me tailor the pivot table exactly to my needs. That's it for today's video. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. What other tutorials would you like to see from us? Use the comment section to give us your feedback. Thanks for watching and see you in the next A Shampoo video tutorial.